Hi and welcome to Category 8 of Mini Program Challenges. In this category, we are going to have 10 mini program programs or challenges in the category of dictionaries, Python dictionaries. Right now on the screen, you can see the timestamp where you can find all the questions and their specific times on this video. So I'm going to give you five seconds to just go ahead and take a look at it. Let's dive into the first question. The first question says, convert the below lists into a dictionary. Whoa. So go ahead, pause the video. You're going to see my solution after three seconds. Now, how was that challenge? I'm sure you did great. I'm going to grab these two lists, put them right there. I'm going to create a, um, let's say, result dict and i'm going to grab the dictionary built-in method using the zip function i'm going to pass in the keys as keys the values as the values that's it that's the only thing that you needed to do and if i go ahead and run that we can see we have 10 20 and 30. that's it for question number one Let's go on to question number two. For question number two, it says merge the following two Python dictionaries into one. Pause the video. You're going to see my solution after three seconds. So how was the challenge? I'm sure you did great. I'm going to copy these two. I'm going to paste them right there. I'm going to create a dict three. And for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to provide double stars dict1, uh, which is going to unpack the first dictionary. And then I'm going to provide double stars dict2, which is going to unpack the second dictionary. And it's going to store that within the dict3. So I'm going to say print dict3. Let's go ahead and let's save that. We have 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. Very cool. Let's move on to question number three. Question number three says, access the value of the key history from the, from the below dictionary. So you need to access the value of this key. So go ahead, pause the video. You're going to see my solution after three seconds. So how was the challenge? I'm sure you did great. So first what I'm going to do is, uh, it's going to be very simple. Um, uh, we, I, I'm going to create a variable. I'm going to store the value there, and I'm, then I'm going to print that value. So we have our sample dict, right? Now, first, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this uh, key. The way that we can grab keys is one of the ways is using brackets and passing the key name. So I'm going to say the key name is class. So now I am within this dictionary, right? Within that dictionary, I'm going to grab student. So student. So after I've selected the student, what I'm going to do is now I am I have two options. I have name and I have marks. So I'm not going to go into name, but I'm going to go into marks. So I'm going to say marks. Very cool. And finally, I need to grab either physics or history, but the requirement is to grab history. Now, this is going to store that value, and I'm going to print that value. And, okay, there is a typo. Marks. Marks. Very cool. Just save it. And it says 80. There we go. Very cool. Now, let's move on to question number four. Question number four says, uh, initialize dictionary with default values. I'm not going to give you more hint. Go ahead, uh, pause the video and attempt the challenge. You're going to see my solution after three seconds. So how was the challenge? I'm sure you did great. Now it said that we need to initialize the dictionary with default values. All right. 
So let's go ahead and let's attempt the challenge. Let's see how we can solve it. First, I'm going to grab these two, uh, the first dictionary, uh, this dictionary and that list. Put them right here. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a result, result dictionary. Within the result dictionary, I'm going to grab the dict dot from keys. So from keys. And in here, I'm going to pass in employees and I'm going to pass in the defaults. So what it is going to do for us is it's going to grab each of these employees and it's going to specify this designation to that specific employee. So the Kelly is going to have designation application developer and salary 8,000. Emma is going to have the same designation. Salary John is going to have the same designation and salary. So I'm going to say defaults, right? Now, the only thing that we need to do is actually print this. So I'm going to say a result dictionary. I could also print a, uh, a value from a key value pair from that dictionary. So I'm going to say a result dictionary. Let's grab Emma. It's uppercase, right? Let's save that. Let's run it. So we have, uh, this is the dictionary that we created. And this is the uh, designation and salary for Emma. All right, cool. Now uh, let's move on to question number five. Question number five says, create a new dictionary by extracting the following keys from the below dictionary. Now we, the keys that we need to extract are the name and the salary. These are the only keys that we need to extract from this dictionary. So as usual, go ahead, pause the video. You're going to see my solution after three seconds. Now let's dive into the solution. I'm going to select that sample dictionary and let's come down here. Now the keys that I want to extract from there, they are uh, name and salary. The new dictionary that I will be creating in the process will be using the dictionary comprehension expression. So I'm going to say K, where we have the sample dict, and we want to grab the K, which is going to be the key for, for K and keys. Very cool. Now I'm going to say print new dict. Save that. We have the name. Kelly and the salary 8,000. Now we are going to go to our question number six. So we did five, right? Now we are into six. It says delete set of keys from the dictionary. Now the keys that we need to remove are keys to remove, uh, name and salary. You need to remove these from the dictionary. So go ahead, pause the video. You're going to see my solution after three seconds. All right, so let's go ahead and let's actually delete these keys. So I'm going to say sample dict. I'm going to grab a, a dictionary comprehension expression. Uh, let's grab the sample. Sample. Come on, man. Sample. Very good. Sample dict. We are going to grab the key from the sample dict. We know that the bracket is going to give us the key. We are going to say for K N. Uh, sample dict dot keys and then I'm going to subtract them from keys to remove. Very good. So I'm going to say print sample dict. Let's go ahead and let's run that. So we have name, Kelly H, salary. Uh, okay, this is sample underscore dict just a typo. We have age and we have city. So when you remove the name and the salary, you're, and you're going to end up with age and city. So, so far, so good. Uh, these are very, very simple uh, exercises, but they actually show you how you can work with different uh, methods uh, for dictionaries, how you can use dictionary comprehension expression. Very, very cool stuff. Simple, but very essential stuff. So in this uh, question number seven, it says, check if a value 200 exists within a dictionary. So pause the video. You're going to see my solution after three seconds. 
So we are going to grab this dictionary and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to paste it right here and I'm going to say print. Now I'm going to check if 200 is in sample dict. Sample dict. Come on. Sample dict dot values because it clearly asked us that exists if to a value 200 exists within this dictionary. So if I go ahead and if I run this, save that and run it, we can see it says true. Very, very good. Now let's move on to question number eight. Question number eight says, rename key city to location in the following dictionary. So you need to grab the, that key and you need to change it to uh, location in this dictionary. So go ahead, pause the video. You're going to see my solution after three seconds. Now let's dive into the solution. I'm going to paste it right there. I'm going to say sample dict. We want to grab the location. We want to set it to location, right? And it is the city. So I'm going to set it equal to sample. I'm going to use the pop method. This is going to pop it. Uh, pop that. What do I, do I want to pop? Uh, I want to pop city. And I want to set that to location. So if I print sample dict, we should be able to see uh, instead of city, we should see location, which we do. Uh, that's it for question number eight. We are going to move on to question number nine. In question number nine, it says that we ha get the key of uh, a minimum value from the following dictionary. So we need to check which value is the minimum and we need to grab the key for uh, that minimum value. So go ahead, pause the video. You're going to see my solution after three seconds now I'm gonna copy this dictionary first I'm gonna put it right there and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna do it within one print statement so I want to grab the minimum value for which I'm gonna pass in our dictionary so sample dict and then I'm gonna pass in the key as well now the key uh, when I pass in the sample dict that's gonna give us the minimum value but I want to get the key. So I'm going to say key is equal to sample, uh, sample dict dot get. Very cool. Now, if I go ahead and if I run that, the key is math. So this is the minimum 62, 82, sorry, 65, 82, and 75. That was the minimum. And finally, the last question it says, um, change Emily's salary to 8,500 in the below dictionary. So go ahead, pause the video. You're going to see my solution after three seconds. Now, first things first, we need to copy our data. Then I'm going to grab the sample, sample dict, and I'm going to say, I want to grab the e employee three. Um, now, where, which one did, do we have to Emily write? Emily is three, yeah, perfect. EMP3, and then I wanna grab from there, I wanna grab the salary. So first you need to select the key and then select whichever key within that dictionary it is. So salary. And I wanna set it to 8,500. And let's print the sample uh, dict. And now, there we, uh, we have employee one, all of these values, employee two, and we have employee three, which is 800 and 8,500, basically. We could also use this one, EMP3. Uh, we need to, we, if we could just go ahead and select that, name Emily salary 8,500. That's it for this category. In the next category, we're going to go ahead and we're going to talk about set many programs or challenges. See you then.